What is up guys, welcome back for another live in the brand new Gen 7 Pokebank OU tier and uh, today we're using a team that I thought up of um, based on something that I saw uh, CBB use, if you don't know who CBB is, he's one of the OU tier in council, uh, he's a very good player and I saw him use Trick Room Majorna. so I thought okay well let's take it a step further and let's make a full Trick Room team with Majorna. And uh, let's see what we can do with it. So this is the team I came up with. It's got a lot of special attackers. You have a uh, Choice Specs Tapu Lele here, which uh, nullifies priority for five turns, which is amazing for Trick Room. Uh, you have uh, a... Um, I think this is... Yeah, it's Shuka. I built the team. I should know, right? Uh, we have Shuka Majorna over here. Uh, Golem is the only one whose sprite you won't see throughout the entire uh, the entirety of the live, unfortunately. It's a lowland golem. Custat Berry, Sturdy, Earthquake, Stone Edge, Fire Blast with a little bit of special attack investment to be able to two-hit KO uh, Ferrothorn. And Stealth Rocks, make sure we get them up with the Sturdy. And then we have uh, Trick Room, Eviolite, Porygon 2 with Download, Try Attack, Ice, Ice Beam, Recover, and Trick Room, of course. Uh, Hoopa is also a Trick Room setter with a Hyperspace Fury, Gunk Shot, Psychic, a little bit of an investment here. Uh, some speed. Uh, this speed is, I believe, just enough to outspeed Rotom. Uh, actually, hold on a second. I don't have my nature set in here. Why is that not done? Hold up. Uh, 231. No, it shouldn't be that high. Uh, we're going to just outspeed Landorus, so we're going to go to 222 uh, before the Trick Room. I think that's uh, the best way to go, and then we'll up the uh, special attack over here. So, nice Psychic within the uh, Psychic Terrain, so very nice. And then finally, we have a Calm Mind Drampa. I meant to put a Physical Attacker as the last Mon here, but this thing, Max Fizz Death, Berserk, when you get under, I think it's 25 or under half, uh, your Special Attack rises, and you go for Roost, and it stays... Risen, so it's insane. This thing is so so good. I I feel like it's this generation's Reuniclus. Uh, it's really good. But let's get into the live. Let's uh, get a couple of games here. We've already spent enough time talking about the team. I'll just show you how it works. It's really cool. Anyway, we got um okay, a super uh, off offensive team here with Smeargle. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Um, we don't have any kind of hazard removal, so that's going to be a little bit of an issue, I think. Uh, he's also probably going to spore us. So, there's nothing I can really do about that, either. Uh, I think I'm going to lead off here with, uh, just lead off with Hoopa, I think, against the Smeargle. Uh, he actually chooses to lead off with Charizard. I'm thinking it's Charizard Y from the composition of his team, because uh, he does have the, uh, the Volcanion. So, I think I'm just going to fire off a Hyperspace Fury. We should be able to take any special hit, even a Fire Blast. And uh, knock this thing out if it is a Y variant. So he might also think that we're scarfed and want to switch out right here. But he doesn't have a good switch into this at all on his team. Like Raichu is the best thing. But uh, no, not even. That's Psychic Electric. What am I talking about? He does not have a switch into Hoopa at all. Maybe I should keep this thing. Wait a minute. Uh, he is Y though. Okay, cool. And we are going to see the flamethrower. We're going to be able to take that. And this Charizard should go straight down. There we go. Awesome. So we are able to get rid of a huge threat turn one. Very nice. And, uh, the only thing that looks like it might be a little bit of an issue is the, uh, is the Aegislash, for sure, because it does have neutral priority on me. I just have to get Psychic Terrain up, uh, and make sure I come in with Hoopa and, uh, have enough health to be able to fire off two Hyperspace Furies, so that would be right where I'm at right now. Volcanion is gonna come in. It is in the sun, so, uh, Steam Eruption is, uh, decreased, so I'm assuming he's gonna go for a Fire Blast here. Uh, as a result, I think I'm going to switch out into my Golem. We are max HP. We should be able to take this. Uh, as he does just go for the Steam Eruption, okay. Uh, and he does get the burn, so we're not going to be able to get up rocks, unfortunately. Oh no, never mind. Right, burn's nerfed. Whoa, nice, awesome. Okay, good. We live on one. Perfect. Uh, Alright, so we are getting up Stealth Rocks right here. Guaranteed. We're going to go Custap Berry, Stealth Rocks. They're going to go up. Latias is going to come in. That's absolutely fine. As uh, it can get off a of defog if it wants to, but it's going to let Majorna get up a Trick Room as a result. So this is, uh, I mean, Dazzling Gleam isn't going to do too much to Aegislash, Slash, but uh, if we can catch it on the turn that it's out of its, uh, out of its uh, shield form, then we should be fine. Uh, I think I'm just going to go for the Trick Room here. He might go for the Fog, I'm not sure, we'll see. Uh, we should be fine. Actually, uh, Drampa can win this game on its own with a, a couple of uh, Calm Mines up. Um... We do get the Trick Room up. I don't know why he went for Draco Meteor right there. I'm going to go for Dazzling Gleam. And if we're able to knock out this Latias, because we do have a lot of special attack, uh, then we get the boost, and then it's going to be easier to deal with um, with the Aegislash. As my opponent actually chooses to forfeit, which is very nice. We'll move on into the next game and uh, see what else this team can do. So right there, 
Uh, Salazzle, wow, look at that shiny form. That's awesome. All right. Uh, I see no reason not to lead with Golem here. He does have uh, four Pokemon weak to it uh, on his team, so Minior is going to lead. That's absolutely fine. We're just going to go for the Stealth Rocks, turn one. Um, it's a really a shame that you can't see Golem Sprite, but he is going to go for the uh, Shell Smash right there. He's going to get his stats back with the White Herb, uh, and we will be able to just Stone Edge here. Hopefully, we connect. That would be awesome. I think he's Focus Sash, if anything. Uh, he's going to go for an Earthquake. That is going to knock us down to Sturdy. And uh, we are going to connect the Stone Edge, and he is not Focus Sash, which means we also have a Cuss Tap hit coming here, uh, which is awesome because we'll be able to outspeed uh, things like Zerkatry, uh, Crobat as well with the Cuss Tap Berry. So we'll go for the Stone Edge here. Hopefully we connect, and uh, we do, and we're able to knock out the Crobat. Awesome. So Golem getting two kills early. Amazing. This thing is so good. <laughs> People just don't see it coming, man. They don't see like the standard Golem set coming when they see this thing. Uh, Mudsdale is gonna come in here. This thing definitely outspeeds me, uh, but I think it's okay. I'll just go for Earthquake. Uh, it's gonna go for its own Earthquake. It's gonna knock us out, and uh, now I can go into Porygon uh, because this thing can't really touch me. We do get the special attack raise as well, which is very nice, and I think we're just going to throw out a, a Nice Beam right here <clears throat> as my opponent decides to switch out into Ninetales. Very good play. Snow, snow Warning is gonna go up. Uh, I don't know if this thing is Aurora Veil. If it is, that's pretty annoying, but we're just going to go for Tri-Attack. He should outspeed us in theory, uh, but I do want to just get off any potential status if possible with Tri-Attack. He's going to go for Calm Mind, actually. Okay, that's a little bit scary. Uh, I am going to get off quite a bit of damage right there. I don't know how much speed this thing has. That's the problem. Hoopa is the only thing that can reliably break it, um, and I really don't know how much speed it would be running. I don't know if we outspeed it. Actually, no. Um... I'm going to go for Trick Room again, as he goes for Blizzard, which is fine. Not again, but I'm going to go for Trick Room the first time. And uh, now we're going to switch out into Hoopa. I expect him to go for another Calm Mind, something of the sort, as he does. Awesome, okay. And now we'll be able to go for a Hyperspace Fury. And we should, in theory, be faster than this in the Trick Room, because its min speed is 200, and unless he's running negative speed, zero IVs, he should be, uh, in theory, um, slower than us in the Trick Room. So, he is... And uh, Dazzling Gleam is actually not able to kill us, uh, even though it's super effective. That's just how good Hoopa special defense is. It's like really, really bulky on the special side. And Ninetales can't come back in on rocks, so I will just fire off another Hyperspace Fury. Mudsdale is going to come in to get its stamina, which is fine. It's going to take 50% in the process, and we still have one turn of Trick Room left. Uh, he is also, what was that, Citrus? Yeah, that was a Citrus Berry. Um, but that's okay. I can just go into uh, Porygon here. We are going to get the special attack raise once again, and we will just go for Ice Beam. This thing is weak to this. We do have 369 special attack right now, so we should be fine. Uh, as he does go for a Rock Slide, he's actually faster than us in the Trick Room, which is interesting, as we're able to knock out the Mudsdale with the Ice Beam right there, so very nice. Uh, Zerkatry can come in, but I don't think it can knock us out. We do have a lot of Spideff, 355 because of the Eevee Light, so we should be fine to recover up on it. And uh, worst case scenario, if it does lock itself into like... Uh, any electric move or anything like that. I do have very specially bulky Pokemon in the back that should be able to take it, so we're gonna go for the, rec the recover right here. He's gonna go for the charge beam, and he is gonna get the boost. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. Okay, uh, we're gonna go for Trick Room right away. Um, we are able to take the next charge beam. It does crit us, but that's okay, because now the Trick Room is up, meaning that um, Majorna should be able to outspeed this in the Trick Room, uh, and we'll just go for a try attack right here. Very powerful hit. He doesn't have very good special defense. He does uh, get very weakened by that, and Majorna is going to come in. Um, unfortunately, I don't have anything on Majorna to hit uh, Salazzle, but that should be okay. We're just going to go for Dazzling Gleam right here and knock out the Zerkatry. We're going to get the plus one, and pretty much everything I have is resisted by Salazzle, so... Um, Except this is only a two times resist, so we're going to go for Flash Cannon right here. And I don't think Flamethrower can even knock us out because we have pretty good spadef. So we'll see right here, as he does go for the Flamethrower, and it is not able to knock us out. He does not get the burn either, and that was a Life Orb hit too, guys. Uh, and I can just fire off a... Uh, I'm going to go for an Aura Sphere right here just to show off my set. And we are able to knock out the Salazzle. We are only nine minutes deep, wow. And uh, as we established before, Ninetales does go down to the rocks, so... That is going to be GG to my opponent. And uh, as you can see, that that did you guys notice what just happened there? Um, Ninetales went down to the rocks, and Majorna still got the Soul Heart. And that can, that happens. It doesn't matter how the Pokemon in front of you goes down, you still get the boost, which is ridiculous. Because if it's poisoned and it dies to poison after you attack it, you still get the boost. Uh, if it goes down to rocks when it switches in, if it goes for Healing Wish, anything. It doesn't matter what it is. If the Pokemon faints, you get the boost. 
which is insane. So that's just the power of Moderna. Uh, Shift Gear is a set you can run as well, but I really like Trick Room. Trick Room is just so um, it's it's very viable with uh, with Moderna. So we have a very annoying team on the other side, very very bulky uh, with uh, Reuniclus, Celestila, uh, opposing Moderna. So this is going to be a little bit tougher. But we should be able to clutch it out. I don't want to lead off with Golem just yet because I want to save that thing for his Moderna. Uh, alternatively, he doesn't have a Stealth Rock setter from what I can see. I don't think Celesteela gets Stealth Rocks, if I recall correctly. So what I'm actually going to do is lead off with Hoopa because it has a pretty good matchup against everything. Uh, Neil Lego. Uh, yeah, this thing is a special attacker, so it can't hit us super hard. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Hyperspace Fury right here. It hits everything on my opponent's team. It actually does over half to uh, standard Celesteela, so it is a 2-hit KO. Uh, I think it does min 53, so that's very good. As we are able to get off a huge hit on this, uh, I don't know how to say this, Nihilego? Uh, he goes for the Trick Room, actually, so he helps us out. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, rock and Poison, which means uh, Majorna should be able to switch in right here. Uh, and he goes for the Stealth Rocks, that's fine. We don't have any Hazard Removal, I did want to save uh, Go Golem Sturdy for the uh, the opposing Majorna, but we should be okay. And uh, I'm gonna go for the Aura Sphere right here because it's the hardest thing that can hit Celesteela on the Switch. We're gonna get the plus one. And uh, nothing really wants to deal with this right now, honestly. Like, I could have Thunderbolt and I would be able to destroy everything. Like, honestly, everything would go down. The Crab would go down. Uh, Drample would go down to a, um, to a Dazzling Gleam. Uh, Majorna is 2-hit KO'd by Flash Cannon at this point. It's basically Specs Flash Cannon. Uh, Reuniclus, I believe, is 2-hit KO'd by, uh, Dazzling Gleam. So, nothing really wants to come in here. He has to go Celesteela, uh, but he goes Drampa instead, actually. And we're gonna go fire off a, uh, he's actually faster than us, gets off a Fire Blast. That's a huge hit, but we are gonna get the knockout with Dazzling Gleam. So now we're at plus 2. Um, which is pretty insane. We have 788 special attack right now. So, not even Majorna lives the, the Flash Cannon right now. And we are min speed, uh, so we should be able to outspeed the, the remainder of his team, barring Reuniclus. It's a pretty good Trick Room team, actually. It's trick Room v Trick Room. Very nice. That's why he has the Reuniclus. That makes sense now. I didn't know that Nihilego got, um, got Trick Room. But this thing is actually faster than us in Trick Room, surprisingly enough. Uh, question is, do I want to keep Majorna? Because if he sets up Trick Room again later, and I'm able to... Because he's going to go for the fighting move here, right? So I can switch into Tapu Lele, which is faster than this, outside of Trick Room. Go for a Spec Psychic, uh, or a Specs Moonblast. Yeah, Moonblast would be better in this situation. That's what we're going to do. We're going to switch out into, into Tapu Lele. We're going to leave um, Majorna alive. We're going to get the Psychic Surge. He's going to go for the Ice Hammer. Wow, that is strong. Life Orb Adamant? Definitely. Life Orb uh, Brave, actually. As Trick Room finally goes down, so that's great for us. Uh, what I can do is uh, either go into Hoopa, uh, or I can go into... What would be better here? Majorna, again. Yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go Majorna for its final stand. And we're gonna go for the, uh, for the Dazzling Gleam. Ice Hammer makes your speed go down, which is actually making your speed go up in Trick Room. That's so smart. Uh, he's gonna go Celesteela, smart play. It's able to eat that up. If I had Thunderbolt right now, we'd be okay, but I do not. And I'm not getting the Trick Room back up for him. I'm just gonna go for the, for the Aura Sphere. Uh, like I said before, Hoopa can deal with this uh, pretty effectively, as he's gonna go for Substitute, actually. And uh, we have nothing to break that, necessarily, but... Uh, good news is, this thing actually cannot touch uh, Drampa. Uh, he gets the plus one split F, but that's not going to matter. Because Drampa is uh, probably heavy, I assume. Um, yeah, let's go into it. And we're going to start setting up. We're going to uh, go for the Calm Mind here. Let's see how much... Uh, well, he's going to go for the Leech Seed. That's absolutely fine. And we're going to start going for... I'm going to go for another Calm Mind. He's going to go for the Heavy Slam. That's only going to do 32%, which is very nice. We get the uh, boost from Berserk, like I said before. We're going to gain some extra extra special attack thanks to our opponent. And we're going to go for the Roost right here. Um, we are slower than his uh, Celesteela. And uh, that means that we can win this war. I'm just going to keep going for Roost. And it's a shame that I'm not faster than his Crab outside of Trick Room. That would have been really good right here. I think we would have been able to just straight up sweep. As uh, he's not gaining any ground here by continuously heavy slamming. He should realize that. 
Uh, so we're going to get another Berserk boost right there. Roost is going to bring us back up to a good a good amount of health. His Heavy Slime is doing 30%, so he would give us another Berserk boost if he goes for another Heavy Slime. So instead, he's going to switch out into Majorna. We do have the plus 2 Spit F, so we should be able to take any hit. And the plus 3 Special Attack is really going to help this Shadow Ball hit him hard. So he's going to go for Floor Cannon, and we are actually not able to take that hit. I guess he's... What? He's Life Orb? Really? Okay. All right. I did not expect that to kill um, with plus 2 Spit F. Because I was going up against a Specs uh, Majorna before, and at plus 2, it was doing like 70, 80 max. So that's really weird. Huh. Anyway, let's go into uh, Golem here. Uh, obviously, Golem is neutral to the Flash Cannon, so he doesn't have any super effective coverage for us. Uh, so I could just go for the Earthquake right here. But instead, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for the Stealth Rocks, expecting him to switch out on my Earthquake. Um, that should be his play. Because uh, he is at minus one special attack, and if I was, uh, like, right now, if I am uh, Galvanize with uh, Weakness Policy, and he hits me with an Aura Sphere and doesn't knock me out, I can sweep his entire team. So he has to be conscious of that, and he's probably going to switch out into a Celestila, and then I can go for a Fire Blast, switch out on the following turn, and then we'll deal with whatever comes our way. So we're going to go for the Fire Blast right here. Uh, he can Heavy Slime me if he wants. Uh, it's not going to do anything because we're both heavy. And um, he's actually going to go for the Earthquake, which is nice because that does, that means he doesn't get the uh, the Leech Seed recovery. And now we're in Custap, so we're going to hit him first, which is also very nice. Uh, I think Stone Edge might actually be stronger because it's Stab. So let's go for that. We do get the Custap Berry. We are going to go for the Stone Edge. It's going to do 47%, so very nice. He is in range of Hoopa's uh, Hyperspace Fury. So we're going to go for it right now. As we are able to knock out the Celestila. And uh, Majorna. Majorna, I don't think, can beat Porygon 2. I don't think it can. So let's switch out into it. And we'll see how much Floor Cannon actually does. Uh, we do get the Attack Raise, unfortunately. He goes for Trick Room, though. Uh, and we're gonna go for he should be faster than us if he's min speed So I'm gonna go for the recover on his attack. He's gonna go for the aura sphere It's only gonna do 47% which is very nice. He's taking life orb hits. So uh, We can constantly go for recover uh, on him and Yeah, we should be fine. He just keeps attacking us He has to pray for a crit and the turn that he uh, that the trick room ends I'm gonna go for a try attack because if he goes for the trick room again Then he's just making us slower than him and being able to recover constantly so Reuniclus is going to come in here, uh, and we can go in a Hoopa if we want to. It's not something I really want to do, um, but we are immune to its stab, so that's not bad. And the Trick Room's about to end as well. So, yeah, I am going to go Hoopa, actually. I have to uh, I have to do that in case he's Calm Mind. He's going to go for the Focus Blast. It's not going to be able to take us out. However, Hoopa dies now to the Life Orb, so... That's very unfortunate. We're going to go for Hyperspace Fury. He actually lets me knock out his Reuniclus, which is insane. Uh, I'm going to go into Porygon 2 here. He's going to go into a uh, Crabominable, whatever this thing's called. Uh, and we're going to go for a Tri Attack and hope that we are able to either crit or status, like Para Full Para or something, uh, as we are not. And he's going to go for the Close Combat, and that's not going to take us out, actually. And uh, what this means is that I'm faster than his Majorna outside of the Trick Room. And, yeah, okay, we're going to go for try attack again. I'm faster than his Majorna outside of the Trick Room, so I can recover here. And uh, Aura Sphere isn't doing enough. So I can just click recover easily. And Floor Cannon shouldn't be able to knock us out either because it's got about the same power as his Aura Sphere. Uh, plus, he risks the miss because it's not a fully accurate move either. Uh, so we are going to go for the recovery. He's going to go for the Aura Sphere. It's not going to be able to knock us out. Basically, I just need to get him in range to where a try attack will kill. We do have 369 special attacks, so I think he needs to be at about 18%. So, like, three more hits, as long as we don't get crit in those three turns, we should be good to go. So, if he lets me continuously recover, then we win. I know it's very stally, and that's the way we had to play this endgame, but he let his Reuniclus go down. He had no reason to do that. There was no reason to let it drop there. Because... Um... Because my Hoopa was going down to Life Orb. So all he had to do was switch into his Majorna, let it go down, 
come back into Crab and knock out Porygon with close combat into whatever move Reuniclus wanted to go for after. So, it was, uh, it's a little bit, um, it's questionable. His play was definitely questionable, staying in on Hoopa. I didn't expect that at all. As he's just going to keep going for Aura Sphere, and he does get the crit, unfortunately, so that's going to be my, uh, my opponent's game. He does win that one, so GG. Uh, nothing I can do about that, and he leaves before I get a chance to say it, so. Uh, we're going to get one more. We're at 20 minutes. Uh, let's see if we can pull out a 3-1 and one in this episode. Uh, we do get Ash's team on the opposing side. <laughs> Talonflame. Woo! All right. The threat in OU. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, uh, Gale Wings got nerfed. If you're not at 100%, it doesn't work. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it gets out prioritized by everything. So I'm gonna go uh, and lead off with Golem here. The only thing that's super threatening is potentially uh, Greninja's Water Shuriken to Golem. So that's why I'm leading off with it. Also, it has a great lead matchup against uh, Talonflame, against the Noivern, as well against the uh, the Gudra. Uh, everything but uh, Greninja and Halucha, basically. Uh, even Halucha, it's not too bad, but Pikachu is going to lead. Uh, my opponent's hazard removal consists of Noivern, which gets destroyed in Trick Room, so I'm just going to uh, go for the Stealth Rocks. I have no reason not to. He is going to go for Grass Knot. Unfortunately, that doesn't knock us in a Custap, which is kind of what I wanted to happen, so I can knock him out with the Earthquake afterwards. But what I can do here is just go out into Tapu Lele. Should be able to take the Grass Knot, no problem. And a Psychic is going to destroy something. Uh, alternatively, I could just go for Moonblast here. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Moonblast. There's no reason not to. Something is dropping. I'm just letting you guys right now, uh, right, know right now, something is going down. Greninja, gone. Of course. That's, that's easy. That's easily dead. And, uh, my opponent's gonna forfeit, so we won't count that one. We'll get another one right away. Ash's team is not something you should be using on the ladder. Uh, what's our rank, actually? My opponent has Alolan Graveler. Interesting. All right. And Alolan Executor. He's got an almost all Alolan team. Um, Alolan forms, of course. Uh, what are we on the uh, on the ladder over here? 13 and 3. So not too bad. 12, 20. We move up a little bit. Uh, Marowak's definitely looking like a threat. It pretty much destroys everything on our team. Uh, except for Golem, sort of. <laughs> so uh, I do want to lead off with Golem, of course. The best possible lead. Greninja does lead. This is uh, Water Shuriken is the one thing that I'm worried about. I'm assuming that he's Ash Greninja, so, hmm, should we just go for rocks? I'm hesitant about it because this thing hits super hard afterwards. I mean, Porygon can take any hit, right? Yeah, let's just go for Stealth Rocks. He's got Water Shuriken, but it's not going to be able to take us out unless he crits all of the last three, uh, and he's actually going to put us into Custap because of that, uh, but he's, he's just going to go for Water Shuriken anyway, so I'm going to keep this. Uh, I'm going to switch out into something that resists this. Uh, well, I don't really have a resist, but we'll go into... Did my opponent just forfeit again? He left. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to pause it. We'll be right back. All right, so my opponent just came back uh, just on time. He's going to go for another Water Shuriken. It's going to do absolutely nothing to Porygon 2. And uh, we are going to click, uh, I think, just Try Attack, honestly. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna click try attack. We're gonna get off some damage on something. Everything but Marowak. He's gonna go for Blizzard. That's not gonna do anything either. I guess he's playing off the freeze. Uh, we do a lot of damage there. And now I'm gonna go for the Trick Room as my opponent forfeits again. So we still have to get one more real game where our opponent doesn't forfeit in the first four turns. Uh, okay, this looks a little more serious. We got a Tapu Koko. We got an Age of Slash. We got a Greninja. This looks like what OU is gonna be before things start getting banned. Like, this is legitimately it. Look at this. Look at his speed tiers. Alakazam, Greninja, Tapu Koko, they're all above Latios' speed. That's insane. So, what do we do about this? Well, Hoopa puts in a lot of work. I can see that right away. Uh, between Psychic, Hyperspace Fury, everything. Uh, it puts in a ton of work. So, I gotta keep that alive. I definitely want to lead off with... You know what? Let's lead off with Tapu Lele. As he leads off with Alakazam, so this is great. Uh, only a Shadow Ball would be able to heavily damage us. So what I could also do is just switch out into Porygon. He doesn't have access to priority anymore, which is good. I could just Moonblast as well, because Shadow Ball won't take us out. Uh, he does seem to be Mega Zam as well. So yeah, let's just go for Moonblast. He is going to switch out into his Age of Slash. Great play. Uh, still going to do a nice 32%, so very, very strong hit. 
Uh, I could stay in and just go for it again. Um, hmm. This is a very good check to a lot of his Pokemon. Like, uh, Latios, uh, Greninja, the Alakazam. Yeah, no, I don't necessarily want to stay in here. Let's go into Porygon 2. Um, we'll be able to take any hit. We do get the special attack raise as well as he's going to go for the Iron Head. So it's a good thing we switched out. I did not expect him to have that. And now something has to take a try attack. That or he switches uh, into shield form. Uh, he does go out into Landorus. So this is going to take a huge hit from try attack. It's going to take 40. Okay, that did a lot less than I expected it to. Um, we're going to go for Ice Beam and knock him out here. As he's going to go for Knock Off and get rid of our UV Light. So very good play. But we are able to get rid of the Landorus, which is a pretty big threat to things like Majorna. Uh, to Hoopa, of course, because of U-Turn, so that's very nice. Alakazam is going to come in here. I'm just going to go for the Recover, because we still have very good Spideff. We should be able to take a Focus Blast, no problem. Uh, actually, I'll go for Trick Room. He goes for, um, he downloads Special, okay. Yeah, that's not good. His <laughs> Special Attack just went up. Um, I mean, Majorna should be able to take one, right? Golem can definitely take one. And we have the Custap Berry. So you know what? Yeah, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Golem on this thing. We're going to get up rocks. We're going to allow him to knock us into Custap range uh, with his Psychic. And then we're going to go for the Stone Edge and really hope it connects. <laughs> is our only play. And if it does, then we should be able to knock him out. We do miss, however. So that's very unfortunate. As he goes for a Substitute, he would have lost his Alakazam right there. And now he's behind a Sub. So that's great. We're going to go for a Stone Edge. He's going to go for the Shadow Ball. Obviously, that's going to be able to easily take us out. What we have to do here is go into Majorna. We have no choice. Uh, we have to go for a Trick Room. Get that up. And uh, he's going to go for Shadow Ball, which is going to do under half. So very nice. Uh, we can now go for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, the thing is, he can just go for uh, Focus Blast here. If he does connect, then he will be able to knock us out, which is very unfortunate. He doesn't connect, though, so very good. Uh, and we'll go for a Dazzling Gleam again. And his switch is Aegislash, but Aegislash is already weakened. Uh, it's going to be a lot easier to take down now. So it's looking like actually Drampa can sweep this up if I get up a couple of Calm Mines. Because his Aegislash is physical and whatnot. So Aegislash is going to come in here. We are going to go for the Dazzling Gleam. It's not going to do too much, but it is going to do a decent amount. We'll go for the uh, we'll go for the Dazzling Gleam again, I think. He can switch forms if he wants to. That's fine. Uh, he's going to go for the Iron Head. That's not going to be able to knock us out. He has to retreat into Shield form now. So what I'll do is I'll switch out into uh, Hoopa on this turn. On the final turn of Trick Room as he does go into Shield form. King Shields up. Fails. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Psychic so that we don't hit the, uh, the King Shield. And then we'll go for the Hyperspace Fury. In reality, he has no reason not to go for a King Shield right here. Which is what I'm banking on. It's really the only way that we would be able to uh, to knock him out right here. Because if he gets the minus two, then we're in a bad spot. Hyperspace Fury won't be able to knock him out. He's actually going to switch out into Latios, surprisingly enough. Uh, as we are able to get a, bit, a very big hit off on that. Very nice. And uh, this thing can knock me out with a Draco, for sure. So I'm going to uh, switch out into Tapu Lele here. Uh, the Aegislash is lower and lower every time, so this is very good. Uh, he's going to go for the Surf, actually. That's going to hit us decently hard. Uh, Hoopa would have been able to take this thing out, but it's fine. As we are going to go for the Moon Blast right here. He's going to go for the Psy Shock. Powered up Psy Shock. Very good play. As we're able to get off a Moon Blast and knock out the Latios. Uh, another fast threat on his team, but he's still got three of them. So, not looking too good. <laughs> uh, what can still set up Trick Room? Nothing really, right? I have to get up a Calm Mind at some point with Drampa. Drampa wins this game, but I need the Calm Mind up. I need at least, I think I need two. I need two Calm Minds. That's all I need. As Alakazam is going to come in. Now, the good news is that Alakazam cannot knock out Hoopa with anything. Not Shadow Ball, not um, Focus Blast, not anything because of our great special defense. So we can just very easily go for a Hyperspace Fury right here. Alternatively, I could go, into, uh, go for the Trick Room, which might be my better play. Because then I'll outspeed this. Um, and then we can just throw out a Hyperspace Fury for absolutely free. And we'll also outspeed the Tapu Koko. So I think, yeah, Trick Room is definitely my better play. If he goes for Substitute right here, that's just insane. But, um, well, it's not insane, technically. 
No, it's not. It's not. It would actually be a pretty good play if he did go for that. He does have Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Focus Blast. Those are his three moves plus Substitute. Very good. Good to know. So he is going to go for Sub. Good play. We are faster than him now, though. And uh, we'll be able to go for the... Um, let's go for the Hyperspace Fury. No reason not to. As uh, it does break through Sub. Forgot about that. There we go. Awesome. All right, so we're able to knock out the Alakazam. And now he's in a bad spot, actually. Because I have Gunk Shot. So, Aegislash is going to come in. I'm just going to go for the Fury. If he goes for King Shield, that's fine. Uh, he's actually faster than us. Hold on, hold on. Oh, no. Goes to the Shadow Sneak. Gets a crit. I don't think that would have taken us out. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't have. But it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to go for the Calm Mind right here. He's going to go for the King Shield, which is perfect. Now we're in business. Now we have our Calm Mind up. Now we're good to go. Uh, we should be faster than Aegislash in the Trick Room. Uh, we're going to go for another Calm Mind right here. He should switch forms as he's going to. Yep. And he's going to go for the Iron Head. That's not going to do very much at all. And we will go for the Shadow Ball on this turn. Uh, he's tempted to attack. That's what I wanted to see. We do get the Special Attack Raise. And Shadow Ball is easily going to be able to take out Aegislash from there. With the plus two Spadef, the only thing that would be able to take me out is a Physical Gre Greninja. So let's go for the Roost. Let's see what he does. He does have Gunk Shot on deck, but it's not able to knock us out. We do get the extra boost as well, so we're able to roost off the damage. And uh, it's looking like this might be able to sweep it up. Let's go for another roost as he goes for low kick. Uh, that does a lot more damage, never mind. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know why he didn't go for that initially. Uh, that was a very strange play, but anyway. Uh, this thing will be able to take us out, I think, with a low kick. Let's go for Trick Room just in case. Uh, low kick is able to finish off Majorna, so uh, he is a physical Greninja. Of course he was. Um, it's very unfortunate that we missed the Stone Edge with Golem earlier. It would have saved us a lot of trouble if we hit it, but I'm going to keep using this team because it's super fun, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to use this team alongside me, let me know. I'll send you a pay spin, and that's about it. Thanks again for watching. Catch you later. Ciao.